Boys and girls, welcome back. This is Punchin Bok Choi, and I know, surprise, surprise, it's not an F1 video, but F122 is dead. Got a couple weeks until F123, so why not fill the time with War Thunder? Now, my gamer tag in War Thunder is you who fellers, and if that sounds familiar to you, that's probably because you are the guy I cussed out in chat for team killing me the other day and i apologize for that because i went back and watched the replay and even though you probably could have avoided team killing me uh it was still pretty close and i can see why you did accidentally team kill me so whoever that was i apologize i'm not usually a dick but anyway back to war thunder we got two games here that i did pretty decent in and I'm, when i say decent i mean i got more than one kill before i died because i am totally crap at this game and am kind of a noob even though I've got a couple hundred hours. But in our first game, we are in the MiG-21, uh, Russian MiG-21 SR-13-300, I believe it is. And we're chasing now uh, Milan and a couple of AV-8s and now just a couple AV-8s. Now, I don't know if these guys are bots or not. They're just flying in a straight line, not really paying attention. And uh, we sent out our first R R3S, I believe. There are three S's. Uh, a little bit too far, but we try again anyway. One for the lead AV8, one for the trailing AV8, and we get one kill, two kills here. Now, the German MiG-21 behind us got a little upset because I think... <laughs> well, yeah, I can understand. I flew down from altitude, <laughs> slot myself right in front of him, prevented him from locking up those guys, and got two kills so yeah i can see why he was a little bit upset but come on I, I suck at this game and i don't get that many kills so i need to take him when i can uh heading back towards the middle of the map here now jaguar takes down an av8 the first f5c takes down our su25 who's about to disappear and now going after our jaguar now even though i'm an idiot noob i still know better than to jump in between two enemy planes so instead of helping out our jaguar there i decide to go after the second f5c and uh I don't really know how many missiles he's got at this point. I don't know if he's already been in dogfights or not. So I'm going to try and uh, get him to send out all his missiles before I start making move. So go into the merge here. Uh, come back towards each other. And try to just stay out of his guns for the time being. Uh, give him my six. I didn't really even check to see if he had missiles on him. I probably should have um, used the free cam camera to check to see if he had any missiles. But here we go. He shoots off one. Probably could have turned a little bit tighter, but we did manage to avoid that first missile. And I'm not really sure he's, if he's got a second one. So I'm going to continue uh, giving him my six here and see if he sends off his second missile if he has one just kind of turning a little bit to slow down a little bit more to get him closer and see if he fires off that second missile um, always checking to make sure that nobody's around me and luckily for us we are paying attention when he sends off that second missile we turn a little bit tighter and avoid it but uh, as you can see we dumped about 200 kilometers uh, per hour in our speed there so f5c is closing in right now i know i really can't do anything uh can't accelerate quickly enough so all we got to do is roll out of his guns he's not really firing yet um, but he is getting closer and closer and as he gets to about half a kilometer you do hear some rounds yep you hear some rounds and you see him and i dump all my speed try and get him to overshoot and see if he extends um, i was expecting him to extend but he doesn't and he turns right back in. And even though I'm absolute dog crap with this gun, we just line it up, hold down the trigger, and luckily for us, um, we get the kill. Now, I assume he didn't extend because he saw that uh, I had two friendlies close by. I didn't realize the friendlies were close by at the time, uh, but we did manage to get a little bit of luck with our guns and we shoot him down for our third kill so now uh we do only have one missile left and i'm pretty sure i wasted half of my ammo in that one kill uh, but we do have the numbers here just an f3h uh, and an f5 about 15 kilometers away so we're gonna go after this f3h now uh, another f5 pops in he's going into the fur ball as well but uh we do see that he's got a trail of smoke with him so i don't know if he got hit by aa there he probably got hit by um ground AA but uh, he's about to get swatted with a missile and that's one less plane to worry about and now the only thing left here is the F3H that's falling out of the sky 
um, and there is a smoking MiG-21. So we go in, I don't know, I think it did kind of steal that kill there, but uh, I mean, he was falling out of the sky, but didn't look like he had any damage, so I don't think I stole any kills. Nobody got upset in the chat, so uh, four kills in a MiG-21S without dying. Uh, we did win the match, so I'd say that was a, a pretty decent match here. So second uh, video here, we are in the F5C diving down on this Harrier, and I can't really tell again if this is a bot or not. Um, just base bombing early on, and then continuing to fly in a straight line, even though we have his six, and not maneuvering, not pre-flaring, not really paying attention here, um, and not really going all that fast either. Uh, so yeah, probably a bot more likely than not, but uh, I will take this kill as I don't really get too many kills in jets. I just bought a couple jets uh, during the sale a couple weeks ago at discount to try and help with my grinding, and I'm not really all that great at this game. So please don't don't think that I'm trying to brag with these videos. Uh, we see an A5C coming in. Uh, for a head-on, decide to avoid it and think better of chasing him. We see this MiG-23, try to lock him up and send off the missile, but because he's just barely turning to the right a little bit, our missile doesn't track him. Now I'm zoning in on this MiG-23, and as you can see, I did not see that SU-25 coming straight at me and only saw him right when the missile came out, and I actually fat-fingered my flare key. You don't see that because this is a replay, but I fat-fingered my flare key I brought up the leaderboard instead, but luckily for us, even with the leaderboard up, uh, you still can flare. And I actually flared while the leaderboard screen was up, so we missed out on that. Now I know I have a couple guys on my 6 pre-flaring to just avoid anything that might get sent my way. MiG-21, uh, we managed to uh, maneuver out of his guns, and I wanted to try and scare this SU-25 a little bit to give our friendly F5 a little bit more of an advantage here. I know going head-on with an SU-25 isn't exactly smart, but I wasn't going to make this stick anyway. But the SU-25 is in a pretty steep dive, uh, so we avoid the head-on there. So uh, instead of turning around and losing all my uh, speed, decided to just head towards this little fur ball on our side of the map. Don't really know how the uh, this fight got so far onto our side of the map here, but um, we're going to go in and try to help our friendlies. We have a friendly A-10 smoke into the ground. He is dying, and the German MiG-21 is deciding to chase after the dying A-10 instead of going after me or any of the other healthy jets in the area. I was like, surely this guy's going to dive down and come after me, right? But he doesn't, so uh, thank God for even newbier noobs than me, I suppose. So we got a Kafir here going at it with an A-10. I figured the A-10 would... Um, be able to hold off long enough with his Kafir. Still checking my 6, make sure that MiG isn't turning around. He does, I think, but he doesn't really come after us or anything like that. So um, I'm going to try to get one of these jets off of our friendly F5 to try and even the odds a little bit. So uh, just as they go over the mountains, I think the MiG-21 spots me because he pulls off the F5. But the J-35 decides to stick to the 6 of the F5 a little bit longer. Um, and as the MiG-21 turns around, F5 gives chase, and the J-35 decides to turn around and try and chase the F5 a little bit longer, but doesn't realize that I'm here, and he just slows himself down, pretty much falling out of the sky right now, uh, and makes it pretty easy for us, even though, even though we are absolutely terrible with the guns. Our first uh, burst sends him into a bit of a spin, and then our third burst gets the kill. Now we are coming around. This MiG-21 is chasing our friendly F5 still, who is behind us, uh, so I'm not really too worried about him. I want to get back and try to help the A-10 a little bit. And it looks like the A-10 was doing a pretty decent job as he was still alive. Not really sure if this Hunter was on our team or not. It is, uh, yeah, I don't know if the Hunter, <laughs> which, which team the Hunter was on, but one less plane to worry about anyway. Now, as we come around to help the A-10, the Kafir now is also falling out of the sky. I do feel bad here a little bit because uh, I think I might have stolen that kill, even though he... I don't think the A-10 damaged the Kefir. He did bleed the Kefir of all its energy, and, and it did look like he was about to get the kill shot, so I do feel a little bit bad, but we're about to help the A-10 out here in a little bit, so I don't feel too, too bad. So we see this MiG-21 come in, trying to fake the head-on and, and hope that he sticks. Um, since we have the numbers on this side of the map, I'm hoping he sticks and maybe I can uh, bait him into... Uh, one of our friendlies getting the kill, but he is kind of smart. He just extends instead of trying to stick to this fight with um, four enemy uh, around in the area. But then he does something really, really stupid, and that is, yeah, you guessed it, going into a head-on with an A-10. Um, and surprise, surprise, 
the A10 with the head on. So we give a kill back to the A10. I don't know if you can call that giving a kill back to the A10, but yeah, the A10 gets his kill anyway. And uh, as of right now, I don't think there's too many enemy left. I think there's only like two or three enemies left, and there are plenty of guys on our t uh, on our team. So I decided to go back to the base, even though we still have plenty of fuel because I, I think I left. Uh, I took off with like 30 minutes worth of fuel, and I, I do that only because. When I'm in a fight, fuel is one of the last things I really check up on, which is a really bad habit of mine. I really need to pay attention more to fuel. Um, so I take as much fuel as I can without going full load, um, and so I never run into any fuel problems. Uh, but as you can see right now, A5 is in the middle of the map. I'm trying to get up to speed because I know that the A5 is a lot quicker than us, or it can hit uh, a higher top speed than us. Um, and even though the A5 popped out of view, we can still see the smoke trail that he's leaving behind him. And I'm trying to get his attention, but he probably knows that I'm at the top of the leaderboard. So he assumes I'm a good uh, player, even though I am not. I'm the farthest from a good player. And like I said, I, I luck into my kills more often than not. So trying to nose up a little bit to get his attention, but either he doesn't see us or he ignores us on purpose. Um, so we are going to head in towards the middle of the map and take out the last guy, which is a MiG-23. Now, before we get into this fight, I just want to let you know, even though I've stated it many times, I'm not that good at this game. I don't really know too much about MiG-23s, so I think they're a little bit faster than us, uh, but I'm not really sure who can turn better. But I'm assuming because I'm slower and I'm smaller... I turn a little bit better than this MiG-23, so I'm going to try and get into a turn fight with this guy. Just trying to lock him up to scare him a little bit, maybe have him stamp down uh, a little bit harder on the elevator to um, make him bleed a little bit more speed. We duck the head on, and as we go into this turn, um, I did notice, not right away, but I did notice that we were turning a little bit tighter. He was taking a wider turn, so I was hoping we can cut into his turning circle here. Um, and as you can see, we do have friendlies on in the area but they're all bombing and i think like with the the last four guys on my team they had like one kill between all four of them so i wasn't really expecting too much help but luckily for us like i said we do turn a little bit tighter whether it was just because the mig 23 player screwed up or um, we just turned better in this jet i don't know what it was but uh i don't even know what we hit and we killed him maybe a pilot snipe i'm not really sure but we get our fourth kill and i turn back trying to chase down the a5 or figure out where he is and look at that he pops up right away now i'm not really sure what i want to do um leveled off for a second there trying to gain a little bit of speed just to see what he did and and he has decided to turn around and come at me or at least one of us anyway there's like three of us in the area here and four of us maybe um so he does try to s get on my six there but when he realizes that he can't he just noses back up again and then goes after uh one of my friendly f5s and i'm like okay good maybe he will get a little bit busy with this guy um drop a little bit of speed trying to get on this guy's six he sends up a missile it doesn't really track and now we are about to get him into our crosshairs and we miss we whiff the shot I know, I know. So, sent off a missile here, just trying to get him to turn and maybe stick with this dogfight. He's uh, dropping altitude, which is always good. I think uh, we are a little bit better at lower altitude. So, goes up again. Try to draw a line with the gun here. Pray that it hits. Nothing hits. He turns right at the last second, right as we stop firing. But now we have him low and slow, which is where we want him to be. Um, and he just cannot maneuver. So send off the last missile just to try and get off some weight on this plane so that we can turn a little bit tighter. We're about to drop on him and get the kill shot and get my first ace ever in a jet. And we get cucked by one of our friendly bombing F5Cs and we don't get our ace. Thanks for watching, guys.